I'll start with the uh, most important information. Um, C.J. Donaldson, he's at, he's at the hospital. A uh, men- member of our medical uh, team is there with him. Um, he's alert, uh, stable, um, has movement in his extremities. Um, he's, he's waiting further testing. So obviously our thoughts and, and prayers since, since that happened have been with him. Um, we've got a, you know, a hurt football team in there for multiple reasons, that being the first and foremost. Um, that was scary. Um, first time I ever had something like that as a, as a coach on the field. Um, uh, credit to our medical team um, and, and appreciate uh, UT medical team for, for being of assistance as well. So um, wanted to hit on that first. Um, disappointing, really, first half for us. Uh, credit Texas, thought they outplayed us early. They are. Uh, they took control. You know, I really felt like they they won the game within the first 15 minutes. Um, really felt like we could come in here and, and and win the game. We knew they were. We would get their best based on how they how they're. You know, they basically two plays away from being undefeated, and so extremely talented. We just didn't make any plays in the first half. I mean, I could sit here and say a bunch of things, but we just didn't make any plays. I mean, we had five drops. I think three of them were either on third or fourth down. We missed a bunch of tackles. Um, they run around like they're playing on air in the second. I mean, that's that's what it is, you know. And I uh, thought there was four keys, and, and we were 0 for, 0 for 4. You know, I thought turnover margin would be a key. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it was – I don't think either team turned the ball over. You know, we had our hand on two picks. Um, you know, I thought the rushing game was going to was gonna be a factor. And they outrushed us. We, we struggled. They mixed up their front. They're, I thought they're big guys in the middle. Uh, we felt like that was the strength. It was strength on strength, and their strength won. Um, explosive plays wasn't close. I don't, I don't know what the number is. They don't keep the stats, but um, I think everybody in here pretty much knows that, that that was a lot to a little. And then the last thing was field position in the kicking game, which was probably close to even. You know, um, But didn't force a takeaway. They, they ran the ball better than we did, and they made a ton of explosive plays, and, and we didn't. Um, you know, I thought that uh, we played better, competed better in the second half, but it was it was a little too late, you know. And um, but I do credit our guys for coming out and, and competing in the second half. Thought we played much better on defense. Had our hands, had a chance to make the pick there on the opening drive, um, you know. But 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 didn't get it done. You know, it's been a tough first five games. You know, we got a beat up crew. Um, we've got kind of a half a bye week, not a real bye week, but kind of a half a bye week. We need some time to. To re- regroup, um, we got to get better. We know that, you know. But I do think we have some pieces that can they can win games like this, you know. In our league, and that's what we got the rest of the way is league games. And you got a chance to win them all, and you got a chance to lose them all. And it's going to be really tightly contested, uh, you know, not just for us but for everybody. And so, uh, with that, I'll I'll take questions. You know, you've been so balanced offensively mm-hmm. this year, and you talked about the run game. But just a matter of their, they overpowering you guys in the middle. Oh, well, I, I think it was. I think it was a couple things. Um, credit them; they played a different front um, coming in. Um, they made some adjustments, especially with their backside ends. Um, we were able to to make some adjustments at halftime, and we had some good answers for that. So I think schematically they did some good things. That's first answer. Second thing, I thought, you know, the run game comes down to 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 winning at the point of contact, and we simply just didn't do that tonight. Um, and we've been breaking tackles, and, and we didn't break tackles, you know, early. Now, we broke some in the second half, but we did maybe on the last drive of the first half. But the possessions we had um, up until that last drive in the first half, we didn't break any tackles, you know. And so we weren't balanced tonight. Um, we knew they, they're, I think they're in the top 25 rushing defense. They probably improved that tonight. But um, we're better. We've got to be able to run the ball better than we did tonight. You know, I thought the first – I thought the second drive of the game was huge. Um, we have third down where O'Loughlin gets hurt. He has a chance to convert that, you know. And we had really good field position because we they they on their drive they had struggled. We got a sack there, um, one on one on one up front. One of the few that we won in the first half on our defensive line. Get the ball in good field position. Third and two we had a drop, and then fourth and two we had a drop, and and they go down and score quickly after that. 
I think two explosive plays, um, and so that that was a uh, I thought that was a telltale for the night. Their short passes and swing passes to the running backs a little bit. It seemed like. Your defense coming in a little bit, looking for the straight handoffs and going out. Was that something that was a little bit new? Was that a choice? Nah, they they got it. I mean, that that's something that's part of what they do. You know, I think the only thing they did tonight was play a little bit more tight end and two true running backs in the game. Um, and they caught us on a couple wheel routes. You know, that's that's probably the only thing they did that was maybe a little bit different. Um, you know, they were having some runs with some screens called, and and they blocked us pretty well in the perimeter. Um, and so, when you're playing against somebody as good as their running backs are, you know you're you're kind of you're not going to slow them. You're not going to stop them. You know, nobody stopped them all year. You know, they had chances to win a game versus Alabama, and they're pretty good on defense. So you're not going to stop them. So you got to kind of pick your poison. Um, and so we did a pretty good job in the run game until late. You know, they kind of got some some junk yards there late, but we did a pretty good job muddying up the run game. But when you do that, you got some things on the perimeter, and you, what you count on is you count on tackling them for three to five yards, and we didn't. You know, they were hitting us for eight and ten some on those little little screen passes. Coach, uh, Prater's first touchdown reception against an FBS opponent. So. Yeah, he's he's been getting better. I, w I would like to see him make that play on the onside kick there. Uh, I'm not sure how we didn't get that one actually. Um, he's pr he's probably been our most consistent guy maybe the last few weeks. He's big. He's starting to come on yeah. onto his own. He had a go ball that I'd like for him to make there that would have been a, I think on the maybe on the one yard line. But he's he's getting better, and that was a really nice route they had on the touchdown before half. Uh, we needed to finish that, and and so that was a really nice, nice route. And JT made a nice throw, but he's getting better, and he's he's a really good player. He's going to continue to get better. And Neil, you said you mentioned kind of a half bye week, actually get a tough stretch. Does it feel a little bit like after Baylor last year? Nah, we didn't get our ass kicked that bad. Um, you know, like be blunt about it. You know, and and, and I thought that um, they big played us. You know, they it wasn't a. You know that I, I don't want to really want to talk about that, but like they big played us, and so and they're better at some spots than we are, you know, and that's the that's the truth, and and we got to do a better job of 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 getting our strengths to to play to their strengths, but you know their card played well. Everybody makes a big deal around here about Ewers not playing. I'm sure he's a good player, but the card kid's pretty good. You know, he won a state championship like Travis, I think. Am I, is that correct? You UT guys, y'all know that. You don't know if your quarterback won a state championship. I think he did. All right. And, you know, he's almost a five-star recruit. You know, he's a pretty damn good player, really. And so um, – and then Worthy's really well, really good. You know, he played well tonight. You know, he had a lot of uncontested balls too. But um, we got to do a better job of, of covering quality people. I mean, we've, that's something that, that, that's really hurt us. We did a better job against some of the teams that don't throw it as well, but the teams that throw it – you know, and they throw it, and they hurt us tonight. You mentioned drops. But oh, it was, it, was, it was an issue, Greg. I mean, it was an issue. You, you think about it in the first half, you know, I know we had five, and if you catch those balls, I don't know if we win. I don't want to discredit what Texas did, but it's a different story. You know, and I get to the point, man, I'm just I'm tired of talking about it. And, like, it's, it's been an issue on and off again. And, uh, and it was huge. I mean, you think about it. You know, they go back to those in the first half when the game's in. And you get in these matches where they are obviously making some explosive plays and you have opportunities to make plays on your own. If you don't checkmate that, it's, it's tough sledding. And we didn't checkmate them in the first half. And that's why we go in the locker room and it's 28-7 to 7 because we had opportunities to make plays. Like, there were some plays there to be made that we didn't make. And, it, and it's an issue. And, and, you know, if you go back and look, when we have not played well, you can go back, and that's a that's been a major major issue. In the secondary, you've got two or three veteran guys, transfers that came in, and also some young guys that you're trying to work in. Is there a point where you say you're gonna play one set or the other, or pick these guys? Just Man, we're just some... Kevin. Honestly, tonight, you know, we were we threw every one of them out there, and we got some guys injured. Also, we had two. I think two of the guys that played in secondary got injured. And so um, we gave them all. You know, Wilson Lamp was probably the bright spot tonight. You know, he did some better things in the secondary. Um, we got who we got. We got, we got to play better. We got to put them in a better position to make plays, and we got to play better.
you know, we can't we can't let people run free like we did in the first half. You mentioned you've never been in a situation like the CJ. Yeah. The team, the team itself, they looked they looked shook too. You even yeah. stopped them from coming over. It looked like you're telling them not yeah. to touch them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I I don't know if there's any. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a good way to handle that. You know, um, scary. I think it's probably the, you know, I'm sitting there as a, as a father of three, and I knew his mom wasn't there, and that's really kind of Greg all I could think about. And uh, he was responding. Um, and like I said, you know, I think we're, we're encouraged by how he's, how he's doing. But, like, this stuff is – you know, it's entertainment. It's, it's. There's a lot of pageantry and tradition, but it, it's not about getting kids hurt. And so, for that, you know, it was, it was, it was scary. And I do credit our kids, our guys in the locker room for we played some of our better football after that. You know, we really did. And and so I credit them. It's really tough. It's tough to go coach. Tough to play after something like that. I also thought that. Um, Sark was, um, and his his guys I thought handled it well too. Yeah, thank you, coach. Can you call his mom? Yeah, yeah. Well, his uh, yeah, we've been in contact. You know, he had he had some people here at the game, so yeah.